Okay. So <laughs> I'm a photography major, right? And uh, so using this webcam and this lighting, <laughs> it's driving me nuts. It really is. And the thing is, I have a nice little camera. But um, I, 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 it's stuck on um, setting. The, the video part is stuck on this setting where it only will video for like three or four minutes at the most, I think. I'm not even sure. Like, I'll set it up and it'll... <laughs> And it's funny because when I first bought the camera, it would only do like 30 second clips. And then I showed it to a, a couple of friends of mine and they um, messed with it, played around with it. A few of them, you know, I mean, these are photography people too, couldn't figure it out. They even own Canons, but they, they had nicer Canons, a little digital readout and theirs were just different. And uh, <laughs> anyway, finally, somebody changed the set, found the setting, changed it, and we thought, oh, okay, now we can do video. But it's still, now it shuts off after like three, two, three minutes. So that's not working. The I mean, you know, and, you, and when I use that one, I have this beautiful color, you know. Um, and uh, I have this little <laughs> desk lamp that I, I've been pointing kind of at me and it's been really too bright. I mean, I'm sure you've noticed if you've been watching my videos. And it all of a sudden occurred to me today, well, I'll put a piece of paper on there, then it'll be my diffuser. So it's a little bit better. I think it's a little bit better. It's not warm. The color's not warm like it's supposed to be. I don't, I'm, so, you know, something I'm working on. <laughs> so listen, I'm, gonna, I'm experimenting with something right now, but I wanted to show you these stupid shoes that I bought. <laughs> I bought these really stupid shoes at Walmart. And uh, I'm not going to like grab the computer and show you. I'm going to actually, this is the experiment. I'm going to put a picture up here. So it should be like, okay. no. <laughs> it should be right there pretty soon. I'm going to stick it over there. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, so I bought these really stupid shoes. I love them. Uh, I haven't bought shoes at Walmart in a million years, and it's not because I'm stuck up. It's because I have really bad feet. And uh, so I have to have shoes with, like, the, this great, uh, you know, art support. And I usually buy bionic shoes. So if you're having trouble with your feet, look that up. Bionic shoes. Um, and I get them on Amazon because I can search and search and search until I find like last year's um, design, you know, and that way I can get them for like around 45, 50 bucks instead of 125 or more. And um, but anyway, I was walking through Walmart the other night and I saw these stupid, stupid shoes. And they're like, if you look at them and I'll show you the picture again, maybe, maybe <laughs> they're like, woven with like little strips of elastic like you know like elastic that you put in your you know your waistband if you sew you know like elastic and so they hug your feet real nice and every piece of elastic is like a different color and it's all really bright colored and they're just so stupid they're so stupid they don't even match look at them they don't even match <laughs> I bought them on clearance for, I think I paid five bucks for them, maybe less. And um, they have, they don't have any art support, but they do have like a really fat um, memory foam footbed. So they're not like unsupported, you know, it's not like flat. So I can wear them for a few hours. I'm, I figured out today not to wear them on Tuesdays because Tuesday is my long day at school. So I had them on all day long, even though I was, you know, most of the time, pretty much most of the time sitting in class. 
I still made my feet hurt. <laughs> so I've taken them off. I'm wearing my flippers now, but yeah, but they're really, they're so stupid and I love them. I just love them. So yeah, elastic shoes, who'd have thought? So, and I have one more piece of news. Um, oh, I'm talking fast. I guess I'm trying to make shorter videos because I, I noticed most people don't make long videos, but anyway. So I have another piece of news. Um, haven't found out about the axle on the 84 Huntsman that I've been looking at it. Remember I told you this whole thing in my last video about how um, in the Toyota RVs, the axle, uh, there was an issue all the way up until it was finally resolved in like 1986. And um, <laughs> so uh, I'm looking at this 84 Huntsman and I text, I did text him. <laughs> I stopped being a chicken. And I did text the guy and I said, hey, do you know about the axle? Because, you know, well, he doesn't know. And I was like, well, does it have six lugs or five lugs? And he doesn't know. Um, and I said, well, you know, if, if I have a VIN number, I found there's a database. I can type the VIN number in. And I can look it up and see if it's one of the recalled axles, which I'm pretty sure it is because it's 1984. Um, although I have read that there has been some that were. And um, anyway, he said he doesn't know. He says, I'm welcome to come out and look at it and do any research I want. I'm not sure that he's, I'm not sure if he realizes that it's like two hours away from. You know, once you get out there, you either you don't even want to go out there unless you think you're going to buy it. Two hours is a long way to go. I really want to know about the axle before I get there. So anyway, I got to figure that out. In the meantime, I'm looking at a dolphin. And this one's in Springfield, Illinois. Here's the thing, though. Their asking price $7,500. Uh, and there's no generator, whereas the one over here has a generator. And, uh, but it's only got 88,000 miles. It's beautiful. In the pictures, it looks practically new. It's a lot of new stuff. So it's, I'm not saying it's not worth $7,500. I'm just saying, <laughs> do I have $7,500? <laughs> no. <laughs> so you know uh sure would be nice to figure out a way to make that work you know like i said i've already made arrangements to sell my car so and uh it's not like i can back out of it i'm selling it to my kid she's already started paying So, yeah, I got to get this resolved. Hey, if you know where there's a, you know, a Toyota Dolphin or uh, any other Toyota RV, particularly if it has a rear dinette and the axle issue has already been fixed, even if it needs a little, you know, interior work, I mean, I can recover stuff and paint stuff. I plan to anyway, right? Actually, I'd rather have one that's a little beat up because I do want to paint and stuff. And if it's all like brand new, and it's all like, cause like this, this one in, in Springfield, Illinois, it's all brand new looking, but it's all very, you know, like beige, which is better than blue. <laughs> uh, cause the one over here, <laughs> like blue suede shoes. It's like, wow, it's so blue, uh, on the inside, but it does look like the majority of that blue was added. So it would be easy to just rip it out and replace it. And the price is low enough that, you know, I can afford to, uh, I can afford to mess with it and do that and put solar on it and all that stuff. It's just that if the axle needs to be taken care of, can somebody tell me, you know, I went on a, um, this uh, Toyota Google group or something. I forget what they call those things. They used to call them lists or something. They're kind of old things. 
for people that don't like Facebook, <laughs> we, it's a forum. And you go on there and you can ask questions and other people will answer you. So I've gone on there and I asked the question so far. So I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work. But anyway, I wanted to give you an update. I want to show you my shoes, my stupid shoes. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to keep this one short this time. I'm going to, we're going to see how, you know, I'm keeping that short. So, uh, you know, oh gosh, I have to go on about this. You have to, you know, hit the thumbs up, you know, subscribe, comment section, please. You know, and uh, I hope there's some value that you're finding in my videos. I wish that you would, you know, leave me a comment. Let me know that you've been here so I know what's going on. And um, ask me questions. Give me advice. Tell me I'm stupid. <laughs> anyway, that's all I'm going to say today. So, peace. I'm Victoria. Are they frightened?